Welcome to Contemporary Teacher Librarianship. In this mini lecture, I'm going to paint you a picture of the role of the teacher librarian in Australia. I will investigate some of the major events that have shaped this role, talk about some of the threats and opportunities facing teacher librarians, and discuss the role as it exists today and potentially into the future. Let's begin with a very quick history lesson. School libraries have been valued since the early 1800s in Australia, where the reading habit was encouraged as the basis of sound moral values and to promote lifelong self-education. The official role of the teacher librarian was established in 1972 and Kelvin Grove College of Advanced Education agreed to host the first teacher librarianship course, later followed by the Graduate Diploma of Teacher Librarianship in 1976. In 2010, a Senate committee was commissioned to undertake the inquiry into school libraries and teacher librarians in Australian schools. This was triggered by a number of factors, one of the most significant being the building the Education Revolution funding, which led to the renovation and building of many school libraries, but did not necessarily plan for the appointment of qualified teacher librarians to staff these spaces. The report, published in 2011, made several recommendations. However, as the government changed quite soon after this, few, if any, were implemented. The position of the teacher librarian in many parts of Australia has shifted from being mandated in every school to being a selected specialist position, with this decision being made by the school principal and administration team. This, combined with the grain or ageing of the teacher librarian profession and teaching in general, has seen the number of teacher librarians drop, particularly in public schools and in schools in lower socioeconomic settings. The Softlink School Library Survey, initiated in response to the Australian Government's 2010 inquiry, continues to gather data reflecting the state of the teacher librarian profession and school libraries in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and from 2018, the Asia Pacific region. Despite this checkered history, where support for school libraries and teacher librarians has ebbed and flowed, the teacher librarian profession remains vibrant and passionate. The recent campaign in Australia, Students Need School Libraries, has roused huge social media and public support with a mission to ensure that every student has access to a dynamic, well-resourced school library run by qualified library staff. Teacher librarians are dual qualified with tertiary qualifications in both education and librarianship. This makes them uniquely positioned to teach and manage the school library, leading learning for the whole school community using strategically selected high quality resources chosen to represent and include all members of the community. The role may be referred to using various titles, including school media specialist or media and education technology instructor, often in the United States, school librarian in the UK and New Zealand, and a wide range of other names, including Leader of Learning Information and Research Services, Resource Manager, or Head of Information Services. It is possible for a teacher who has no library qualifications, or a librarian who has no teaching qualifications, or a school officer or library technician to be managing the library. While the teacher, the librarian, and the school officer or library technician may play extremely valuable roles, it is only the teacher librarian who is fully qualified to manage all aspects of this role. There are different threats and opportunities that challenge contemporary teacher librarians. Let's look at some of the threats that the contemporary teacher librarian may need to manage before exploring the opportunities the role holds. The most significant threat that faces teacher librarians is an old fashioned perception of the role. When asked to describe who a teacher librarian is or what he or she does, many cast their minds back to their own experiences growing up or stereotypes of librarians that have been perpetuated in popular culture. 
This means that they believe the teacher librarian is either a mousy old lady with a cardigan and hair in a bun, shushing noisy library users, or a dragon lady chasing overdue books and guarding the collection with her life. As some people only interact with librarians when they see them shelving, reading aloud at story time, or scanning books in and out, it can be easy to jump to the conclusion that this is all that a teacher librarian really does. This limited understanding of the role means that they may be considered easily replaceable, meaning that teachers, school officers, and even self-checkout machines can be seen as a viable and perhaps less expensive option. Despite this, there are many opportunities for teacher librarians to enact their role in exciting, challenging and innovative ways. Although the profession has contracted, extensive evidence across local, national and international studies suggests that the presence of a qualified teacher librarian and a well-resourced library, as well as collaboration and co-teaching between the teacher librarian and teaching staff, is directly related to student achievement. These relationships are consistently demonstrated over time and even when variables such as socioeconomic status and school size are accounted for. As they work with every class and teacher in the school, the teacher librarian has a bird's eye view of the curriculum. Developing a school library collection which is responsive to the curriculum needs of the school at which they work, they're very familiar with what is being taught and how it is being taught. They have particular expertise in the general capability areas of inquiry learning, critical and creative thinking and ICTs, and can also advise on the inquiry learning and information literacy aspects, which are embedded within science, geography, history, economics, business, and civics and citizenship. The teacher librarian is also qualified to teach and lead staff and students in developing their skills and knowledge in digital literacies, digital pedagogies, access to and management of digital information, digital content creation, digital privacy, digital citizenship and cyber safety, and social network literacy. While the teacher librarian has always had a role in promoting and educating others in the critical evaluation of information, this has reached peak importance in the current era of fake news, deep fakes, bots, and the proliferation of dubious material via many modes and media. The role of the teacher librarian is more important now than ever. Schools that value the role are seeking individuals who are highly skilled. The job description of a contemporary teacher librarian shows just how much the role has changed and how far it has moved away from the gatekeeper of books and the reader of stories. Now, as well as a love for and a promotion of reading and literature, the teacher librarian models, scaffolds and encourages high level digital skills, best practice teaching and learning, constructivist connectivist pedagogies, critical thinking, inquiry learning, information literacy, information and research skills and project based learning, among many others. The scope for the teacher librarian is wider than ever with the development of makerspaces, coding and connected learning environments all falling within the remit of this role. The role of the contemporary teacher librarian is one of leader and revolutionary.